guys, I'm here right now in BF. I'm here in Presentation of Child Jesus Parish. Here. And I actually forgot to tell you that here in the Philippines, when Holy Week comes or Semana Santa, we have a tradition of going to seven churches to do stations of the cross. Two, sta two stations per church. But I forgot to tell you is I didn't actually go. I was too busy with schedules and stuff. So I decided to go to one church. Now this is, I chose this church for one reason. This is actually where I was baptized. My grandparents used to live here in BF and I decided to choose this one because of its significance. Because this is where I started my Catholic life. So, tara, let's go find a nice place to eat and see you there. I'm now walking to find a tricycle to bring me to this place. It's called Little Quiapo. <laughs> I'm supposed to check out the food there. Because the truth is, my parents told me, actually my aunt told me, that Little Quiapo used to be in my old area in Malate. It was near St. Scholastica College where they studied. And believe it or not, it moved here to BF where they used to live too. So parang coincidence. Eh. So I'm now going to check it out and hopefully the food is good. Okay? See ya! I'm here right now in Del Capo, in BF, and this place is kind of a request from my aunt because my aunt is a, a scholastican and from Saint Co. This used to be in Malate area. It's actually the corner of Linginto and Estrada, and they told me that the food is great here. So I decided to research and I found that there's one branch of this here in BF, and I decided to check it out. So I, after I did my viewing of the church, where I did my visita iglesia, I am now going to check out the food here. So here's what I got so far. We're doing a we're doing an all merienda special. So all the items that I got are eaten as a snack in between lunch and dinner. So here's the food that I got. I got a pancit palabo, a tokot baboy. Their chicken lollipop with sweet and sour sauce. And for drinks, I got this. This is black gulaman, also known as sagot gulaman. It's more like a vanilla flavored drink with with tapioca balls and what do you call this? Uh, gelatin squares. So let's eat and check this out. Oh, one more thing. I ordered another special dessert. But I will go to serve, I'm going to videotape that after I eat my meal. Because that will be the finale for this perfect merienda during this summertime. Okay, first we will try the black gulama. As I said, this is a vanilla flavored drink. Sweetened with brown sugar, served with crushed ice. And if you notice, I'll try and get one with a spoon. See, there it is. Oh, oh it fell. Sorry. One more. There is. It has black. We call this gelatin pieces. Mm. That's good. Cool. Wow. That's really sweet. But it's perfect for the hot day. It's already summer here, so. This is one one of the best ways to cool off. And I believe this Tagudu Naman will go will go well with everything I ordered. Okay. So now okay, palabok first. If you notice this guys, look at it. This is pork floss. Or basically I think no no no. It's crushed chicharon. This is crushed chicharon served with squid, deep fried tofu. Hard-boiled eggs, and underneath is a pancit made of 
I think this is Lug Lug noodles. The sauce, the orange sauce, is actually uh, what do you call this? Uh, shrimp paste. You get shrimp, you, you grind it, you boil it, and then the, the soup is thickened with cornstarch. And then you add atuete oil or atuete water to make it orange. And that's giving you this orangey tint for a sauce. But believe me, it is really good. So, we will now get a piece. We'll try the noodles alone, alone first with the sauce. The noodles are smooth, nice and it complements the sauce. Basically, the noodles complement the sauce. Not too heavy. Now we will we will mix this all together and we'll try it with everything. We we'll get a piece of the noodle, the egg, the chicharron squid and some tofu now this is gonna be one big mouthful still it's gonna be It's a bit hard. It's really crunchy. Really crunchy. You can taste the squid. You can taste everything. The egg complements it really well. It's supposed to actually mix this all together so that there won't be any white noodles left. So I'll do that. Okay. A lot of people prefer to have this with calamansi, this as a sour component, but for me, it kind of masks the shrimpy taste, and I prefer it with a shrimpy taste, so I won't put the calamansi in. There's more chicharron here than I expected, so that's a very big plus factor. I love it. Uh, that's good. Palabo. All the ingredients match each other perfectly. It's not that. Uh, what do you call this? <clears throat> not that salty. It's actually really good. I made a mistake. I forgot to tell them not to give me a straw. So, sorry guys. I'll just take it with like this. Let's move on to the next dish, which is the tapat baboy. Here's the second dish, which is tapat baboy. Okay, tapat baboy again is another merienda dish. It actually goes well with the pancit, but I wanted to try it separately. It's basically a deep fried tofu with chunks of pork. Both in this almost sour, sweet, salty sauce known as kulao and it's we add some pickle juice to it too and it's actually really good first we will try it with uh, with just the tofu or the tofu hey. the tofu is really crunchy the sauce is not too salty. Right? The not tanginess, sourness to it. And I think it's really good. Now we will try some of the pork. Okay, the pork looks really tender. I think they boiled it for a long time. Then they just basically chopped it up and ready for serving. Let's give it a try. 
Yeah, that is good for me. Now, there's no specific way of cooking the pork in Tokot Baboy. Oh yeah, Tokwa means tofu, Baboy means pork. Okay, so Tokot Baboy, tofu with pork. There's no right way of cooking this. Some people prefer it like um, Icharon, they deep fry the pork and then they use the liempo or the belly area and they make what they call it, it's some kawale and then they mix it with the uh, with the uh, pulao and the tofu but for me, she prefer it this way the meat is spoiled because it's not crispy and it complements the crispiness of the tofu so crispy and crispy sometimes don't match so we'll try a mixture of the pork and the tofu dip it really well in that pulao shrimp mm. That is good. Tender pork, crispy tofu. Where can you go wrong? Let's try our, let's try our third dish, which is the chicken lollipop. Chicken lollipop looks it looks like a kiddie's meal. Truthfully, basically chicken wings. You slice the meat, push it to the one end, and curl it up with the skin. And then you dip that in a batter or you dredge it or deep so put it to the batter and then deep fry. You can't go wrong. It's basically easy to handle chicken wings. Okay? You can see it's really nice and crunchy. We will try it first without the sauce. Okay, so there's no can't use the utensils on this, so just pick it up with this. So I did put the foil there. Okay. Okay. I didn't expect that. There's a bit of chili inside. It's a bit spicy. But it's nice and crunchy. The beef inside is still juicy. And I think... Yeah. They use a bit of pork starch with a bit of flour for their batter. So give it a dip in their sweet and sour sauce. Okay, the sweet and sour sauce is not that thick. But it looks that it's, it coated the chicken really well. I will give it a try. Okay. Chicken's really good. Next, we will try the dessert later. <laughs> okay, I'm going to continue eating this, then I'll give get back to you for the review of the dessert. Okay, guys, as I told you, I'm going to show you a dessert worthy of this end of end of the meal dessert. And here it is, the all famous halo halo. This is their special halo halo, guys. You can see there are there's a lot of ingredients in this which includes ice cream this is ube ice cream ube is a it's like a purple yam yeah that's a perfect term for it it's a purple root crop we make use of it by using it in desserts sometimes in cook in other pastries and stuff i call this kakanit or rice flour dishes Okay, so this is ube ice cream. Our halo is layered from the bottom up. And there's a lot of ingredients from. Okay, I can see here they have uh, mung beans, they have pinipi, crushed ice, leche flan, also known as like a creme caramel, here. And their ube. What do you call this? We call it halayang ube. It's basically an ube jam. 
It's really smooth. It's typically eaten during summertime here in the Philippines. And it is going to be one hell of a task to mix this together. Halo halo means halo means mix. So it's mix mix because you basically mix all the ingredients first inside and then you try and eat it. And this is proving to be one of the most difficult things to eat right now. Okay, I have to hold on to this. Dig in really deep. And then Okay, we got some of the pinny pig. We'll try the We'll try some of the pinny pig. Pinny pig is uh, like rice crispy puffs. And <laughs> I'm going to give it As of now, it's not that sweet yet because all the syrup is at the bottom. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm starting to reach the bottom now. Here, I'll turn it around and check it out. Right, starting to reach the bottom. There's mung bees, there's there's a lot of stuff in here. There's white kidney beans, there's jackfruit, and there is oh there is sagging or banana. Oh and this is what you call camote. Sweet potato. Yeah. That's camote. We are weird here in the public where we use anything that we can think of to make it into a sweet dessert. We use beans, we sweeten the beans by simmering it in sugar with water. And we also use it as a preservative or as a waste preserved item. One of which is the lanka. Langka is jackfruit. It spoils so easily. But if you cook, if you prepare it well, <laughs> see, see that stringy thing. That's langka. If you prepare it really well, it's awesome. There it is. Yep. This is the langka or jackfruit. Sweeten, cook in syrup. It gives it that silky texture. But it's still awesome. A bit messy to eat, but that's good luck. Huh? A few days ago, I saw this one vlogger, Kulas, uh, Kyle Gentleman. He was eating halo halo, which had a very unique ingredient into it. Believe it or not, they added elbow macaroni, pasta noodles to it. And it, it, it was just boiled pasta noodles, but it looked awesome. And that's what makes us unique here. We add anything and everything under the sun to halo halo. Okay. So I'll just finish this, and I'll get back to you later with a review. Yeah. Okay. I just finished my meal here in Little Kiapo. And here's my review. As usual, we'll go with the uh, five criteria. Ambiance, price, food, service, and location. One. Start with location. Location. It is accessible via Uber or Grab. And there's a way to commute here. They have tricycles everywhere. This is near the gate of Aguirre in BF Homes. And actually, is he accessible because there's also Jeep going around here? Now, ambiance. The ambiance is awesome. It feels like a home style restaurant. I so you can feel at home here. And now, service. This is where it's top notch. The waiters here are very very well informed of their menu and they are very knowledgeable of their items and best of all they really make you feel at home 
So, I give that 5 out of 5 already. Always good on points. Now, price. All of those items, I only paid a little bit over 500 pesos. So, that's a bargain. So, price really good. 5 out of 5. Now, the food. The food is exquisite. The main course. No, no, I mean the palabok was really nice, the tokot baboy, but my favorite of all will still have to be dessert. The halo hal was really well made, the ice cream was creamy, the halayang ube was smooth, the cow, the new beans inside are actually not musty, still have a bite to it, and the only thing I did quite like there was a the jackfruit because it's really stringy and it kind of messes up your clothes but it's awesome now for me this is my last trip and i hope you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on on twitter at paul always Gutom. At Facebook, always put on never Busog, and on Instagram at Paul always put on never Busog. So, till the next vlog, guys. See ya. Tara kain